do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix Media. We've got a really great video tutorial today and we're going to be showcasing and discussing a brand new PS1 soft mod just came out about a week ago or so and this is called Free PSX Boot. Yes, so uh, a couple weeks ago we talked about Tony Hacks. That was a great uh, soft mod. Basically, Tony Hacks, if you, if you recall, that's using an exploit game to boot up some code through the memory card and then you can play like a backup game as an example. With free PSX boot, you no longer need a game to run the code, you just need a memory card. But the caveat is you need a way to write the raw data to that memory card. So in a sense, you can consider this as a soft mod for your PlayStation 1. So I have a link in the video description to the GitHub. There's a lot of good information here. It tells you all the different methods that you can use, for example, to write the raw um, image um, image file, the raw data file, to your memory card. We have some warnings here, so you have to take note that unlike the Tony hacks, where you can have a memory card with the SPL file and the various exploit save game files, this one basically rewrites the whole contents of the memory card. So if you have a memory card you wish to do this mod, you gotta make sure that you have your save game files saved, exported in a good place, because this is gonna overwrite everything. And this exploit has a corrupt memory card file system on purpose for it to run. So you won't be able to use it for normal operations. But there are ways to restore your memory card back to normal. If you go to the restoring the memory card section, they have some good information here on how you can do that. I like to use this uh, PlayStation 1 formatting disk procedure. So I might talk about that in a future tutorial. But this is how it works in the usage and I'll go over a a video capture of my process of how I got this to work on my own too. But basically the idea is, let's assume you have a supported model. So you scroll down here, they have all the PS1 models from BIOS 1.0 all the way to uh, 4.5, right? Go ahead, download the MCD file. And then from there, you need a way to write it to your memory card. In my case, I like to use uh, my PS2 running some homebrew, so I use a memory card Annihilator version 2.0, I believe is what it's called. And I use that to restore the memory card image to the PS1 memory card. From there, I go to my PS1, plug in the memory card, turn on the, the PS1, and then you go to the memory card screen, wait about 30 seconds or so, and then it's going to boot into what is called the unit ROM. And then from there, you can do a lot of cool stuff, which we'll see. And like I said, this information is also here inside the usage as well. So, um, 1.0 just got released today at the time of this video recording. Awesome. So go to whatever the latest version is, download a particular image file, and then um, transfer it, whatever method you have accessible to you to write that image file to your PS1 memory card. So what I want to do in this next portion of video tutorial, I decided to do a little bit thing, uh, to do things a little bit differently today, excuse me. And we're going to use my video capture card. We're going to do first a quick video using my PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm going to show how I use my memory card annihilator version 2.0 to copy the memory uh, card image to my PS1 memory card. And then from there, we're going to go over to my PlayStation 1 and show the process of it booting. And then, and then I'm just going to boot like a, um, a backup disk of my Twisted Metal 3, which I've showcased in the previous videos as well. So with that said, let's jump into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. So here's my PS2. If I go to version, I'm using Mechapon, so that's why it says DTL H9001. But in reality, it's a PS2 Slim 9001, Slim 9001 model. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using OpenTuna since Free McBoot does not work with my PS2. Press circle, hold on the second press there, and we go into U Launch Elf. I'm gonna go to my USB thumb drive pretty soon here, and we're gonna run the program MCA 2.0. I'll have a link in the video description if you need a copy of it. And then ahead of time, I already copied over the MCD file onto my thumb drive. And then we're gonna use the memory card annihilator to write or restore the memory card image to the PS1 memory card. So make sure you have a PS1 memory card plugged in, which I do in slot two. So I go to slot two here, and then I go scroll down to restore MC image, go to my USB thumb drive, go to wherever you saved it. I saved it in a folder, press R2 to show the files, and then go ahead, select your file, and then flash it over. So for this, go to yes, and then a um, couple seconds or so, it will write the image to your PS1 memory card. 
and you know that it will be complete and, and done, R turns green and this message will basically say um, basically that the operation was successful. So we'll see that in a second here. So, and then I will probably do like a follow up Tony Hacks video tutorial because they have a new method now for Tony Hacks where you can boot the exploit from a memory card and do not need an exploit game, but that's for a future tutorial. So anyways, here we see operation completed successfully. Great, so press X to continue. And then what I'm gonna do now is literally take my PS1 memory card out, plug into my PS1, and then continue the video tutorial from there. So with, it, with that said, let's go straight into the next portion of the video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so we're on my PS1. So I've inserted my PS1 memory card into slot one. Once the PS1 has fully booted up, we're gonna to go to the memory card selection screen and press X here. And then we're gonna wait about 20 seconds or so. And you know it's working if you see like these flashing colors on the screen. And according to the GitHub, every single uh, every single PlayStation should be 100% reliable. If in the case your PS1 crashes for whatever reason, just reboot your PlayStation 1 and you should be good to go with the memory card. So we see this, this is a good sign. And then momentarily we'll see the Uniram screen, right? And then from the Uniram screen, you can press X and you'll see a bunch of submenus, and we'll, which we'll see in a second here. Okay, cool, so we press X. So you have these different options here. So install Uniram if you wish, if you have a cheat device, I don't, I don't have a payload port on my PS1. You have some other options here, but what's most important for me is the boot CD. So I'm gonna insert a backup disc copy of Twisted Metal 3, and then um, go ahead and press play basically. Or you could do one of the other options if you wish. But I do play. It's gonna boot the backup, and then it's gonna play just like your, your typical game, basically, which is awesome. Assuming your CD laser is still in good condition, of course. So that's today's uh, quick overview tutorial on free PSX boot. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.